good time gaming. What is up guys, it's Axiom Good Time Gaming, and today I'm coming at you guys with a very quick little preview video of the upcoming Scarface DLC packs. Um, I say packs because there are actually two packs coming out. They'll be coming out on December 15th. The character pack will be the standard $4.99, and then the heist pack will be $6.99 as per usual. So there is a nice uh, little teaser video out right now. It's pretty cool. It's like mostly cartoon uh, style graphics, some epic music in the background. So we're going to sit here and watch this together. And I'll kind of break it down a little bit with what information we have so far. So let's get into it and let's watch this trailer. Dude, it's some rocking music right now. Holy shit. So yeah, guys, the um, the Butcher. Some of you guys might not know who this is. Um, she's a contact from a very, very long time ago. Like, probably two years? I'll check and see when the DLC was released after we watch this. But I think it's been like a year and a half to two years since the Butcher. And since the last um, DLC involving her. It's only two missions. Dude, this music's awesome. Dang. Awesome. Holy shit. So it looks like some of the butcher's guys got murdered, it looks like. Taking AKs, looks like. Ammo. Oh, they blow the shit up. Nice. So, 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 stay out. Oh, she pissed. Dude, never fuck with the lady who looks like a librarian, okay? Dude, this music is awesome. Holy shit. Alright, so she is mad. Dallas, Sydney, Juro, and Chains going. Or was that Dallas or is that the new Mexican cartel heister? No, I think that was the new car uh, heister back there. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, why do I gotta kill that guy? He's handsome. I'm gonna kill handsome people. Okay, so a little bit of gameplay here. Not very much gameplay, it looks like. All right, cool, very cool. All right, available December 15th, so that is in two days. Sweet, all right, well, let's um, go ahead and back this up a little bit and take a, take a look at a few different parts in this. From the footage, we get the impression that maybe in the last uh, two years or so, the Butcher has not been doing that well. Um, she's been getting, it seems like, attacked by this cartel called the Sosa Cartel, and it seems like she's either, you know, tired of it, or this has been some sort of, um, act that has just pushed her over the edge to where she's gonna you know pull out all the guns put some money out and we're gonna go and take out these people so a lot of the imagery in this is really interesting um, i like the art style of it and the uh kind of the way that the trailer progresses and just kind of shows off everything through this cartoony uh, almost like comic book uh type look the music of course is amazing as it goes this is actually my first uh realization that apparently they're making a scarface uh, remake or a sequel i don't know some sort of a scarface 2 type deal I'm sure it'll be utter shit because you can't really remake classics like that very well. They don't tend to uh, do too well, I feel like. As far as the offering in this pack, looks kind of um, looks kind of interesting here. Now we get a little bit of a glimpse of the new heister. I thought originally that this was um, Dallas to begin with, but apparently this is not Dallas. Uh, this guy has a purple suit. Uh, Dallas does not have a purple suit, and he looks uh, he looks pretty handsome. I mean, I'm not gay or anything, but you know, he's a pretty fine-looking fellow. So good news there. Very good news there. We get a few live action uh, scenes. One of them appears to show off the Uzi and then another one shows off this gun. Um, I thought originally that this gun was a Amcar, but from talking to some of my friends in the uh, Discord chat for the our YouTube channel, um, it looks like maybe it's not an Amcar. I don't know. Kinda looks like an Amcar to me. Maybe it's a new gun, um, probably an assault rifle type thing. Um, from what the description of the DLCs tells us, I would be kind of surprised if it's another assault rifle, to be quite honest. And speaking of the descriptions, look at those real quick. All right, so we have here in a freeze frame, we have two packs. We have the Scarface character pack, which is five bucks, which gives us the Scarface playable character, the little friend signature weapon, 
Um, Lumberlight L2 Chainsaw. That sounds kind of interesting. We get two masks and we get the Kingpin Perk Deck. Very interesting. I feel like if I had to guess about the Kingpin Perk Deck, I would assume that's probably going to be like some sort of um, Perk Deck that maybe is around like dominating cops or like, I don't know, being above everyone else in some way, shape, or form. That's kind of like my uh, very general take on it. That'd be like a Kingpin, because the Kingpin like controls things. They're in control of stuff, so that's what I imagine this pack would be. And then, of course, we have the Scarface Heist Pack, which comes with the Scarface Mansion Heist, the Commando 101 Rocket Launcher, Hotline 8000X, which I'm guessing is probably a melee weapon of some sort. That would make the most sense, but if it's a gun, I'd be much more happy with that. Uh, Commando 101 Rocket Launcher, not really a whole lot else to say about that. Another Rocket Launcher? Okay, I don't know how it's different from the RPG, but we'll find out, won't we? Uh, four masks, four patterns, four materials, six achievements. So that's the packs there. No mention on a stealth heist. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are really hankering for some stealth action in this game. Doesn't sound like it's a stealth heist. Doesn't look like it's a stealth heist from what we've kind of seen in the uh, few videos we've gotten. I'm hoping for at least a 20 minute heist. I feel like a lot of the heists in this game are very, very short. Um, I guess that's a good thing if you know you don't want to die over and over again or if you don't want to waste a bunch of time, but um, whenever a heist can be completed in like 10 minutes or you know 10 to 15 minutes or less, it just feels like it's kind of um, lacking in some way, shape, or form. So I don't know. New DLC, um, obviously the jury's still out on whether or not it's really going to be a good pack or it's going to be worth our money. Uh, we kind of had a bit of a lull for a long time when it came to new content being added. Because if you guys think about it, um, the Biker Heist was released in June 16. Then we get, didn't get anything after that until October 20th. So it was at uh, July, August, September. So like three months. Then we got the John Wick Weapon Pack, which is the second uh, John Wick-related DLC. And then the Gage Spec Ops Pack, which was... Um, what was it, like three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? Something like that? About three weeks ago, I think. So... Pretty, uh, pretty steady drip of content. I feel like from a developer standpoint, it's probably a good idea to release something right now, like a business standpoint, because it's the holidays, people have a little bit more money, people are spending money. It seems like a good time to um, release some new content, release some new stuff out there for people to buy. Um, hopefully it's not just a cheesy, stupid tie-in. Uh, like I feel like the Point Break heists were kind of a stupid, cheesy tie-in, but the missions themselves were very good. And they didn't really like matter as far as like with the movie or shit like that. So hopefully they're as good. Hopefully this content is as good as Point Break. Because I feel like the Point Break stuff was really solid. Uh, those are two of my favorite heists. Especially the um, the Birth of Sky heist is really phenomenal. And the accompanying track, Drop Zone, is my favorite track. As some of you guys might know. So yeah, overall looks pretty sweet. I am excited. And we'll see what Day 2 brings us. Da -da -da -da. So I will see you guys tomorrow for an update with day two of the Scarface packs. Let me know what you guys' first impression is. Did you guys like this amazing rock track? If you didn't like it, then what's wrong with you? But no, seriously, it's it's pretty amazing. I love it. That's probably my favorite part, honestly. Hopefully it's in-game or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But I will see you guys tomorrow. This is Axiom of Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw here today. And remember to always have a good time gaming. And please give a big shout out to my cat for not meowing like excessively while I was trying to record this. So good job, cat. You get a gold star for silence. <laughs>